the next test again. And the last test for this exercise 3.6. Let's start the portion for the test again. So exercise. Okay, this is under exercise 3.6. But the test number is 3.6D. Uh, okay, 3.6D. We will cover this exercise. 3.6 question A 1 to 4. We'll find this on textbook pages 69 and 70. So let's start with the test. Okay, so here if 3 by x plus y plus 2 by x minus y equal to 2 and 9 by x plus y minus 4 by x minus y is equal to 1, then we have to find the right options below that. So A1, we are given this equation, 3 by x plus y plus 2 by x minus y is equal to, to 1 of the equation. And the second equation is 9 by x plus y minus 4 by x minus y is equal to 1. Then we have to choose the right options from below. Okay. Now since they did not specify any method to solve, we can choose to solve it by a way that seems easier to us or we prefer. Okay. So let's put this one as equation 1 and this one as equation 2. <clears throat> this is a similar pattern here. 1 by x plus y, 1 by x plus y. 1 by x minus y, here also 1 by x minus y. So since no, the question did not ask us to reduce it to a normal form of a linear equation, we can use this to solve directly. Look at this part here, x, 1 by x plus y. 3 and 9 are the numbers. Then LCM will be 9. Then if we take this 1 by x minus y coefficients, then there are 2 and 4, the LCM is 4, LCM 9, any one you can take, either the <coughs> 9 that is the coefficients relating to 1 by x plus y or 4, 1 by x minus y, but LCM 4 is smaller, maybe that will be easier, so let's just take this. What I'm trying to do here is we're going to do by elimination, okay, so 2, 2's are 4 the LCM, so multiply this 2 to equation 1. And here 4, 1's are 4 the LCM. So multiply that to equation 2. Then these 2 and 4, which are not equal, will become equal. We know that, right? Equate, and then we eliminate. So let's multiply 2 to equation 1 means 2 will multiply all these 3 terms. So 2, 3's are 6 by x plus y plus 2, 2's are 4 by x minus y is equal to. 2, 2 are 4. Let us put this as equation 3. Then if we multiply 1 to equation 2, all the three terms of equation 2, since we are multiplying by 1, and nothing will change. 9 by x plus y minus 4 by x minus y equal to 1. Let's put this as equation 4. So now this is equated 4 and 4, you see. The coefficients of 1 by x minus y, 1 by x minus y are equal. Now the equated coefficients have opposite signs in front of them, plus 4 and here minus 4, so we'll do 3 plus 4. We learned previously also that in elimination method, if the signs are same, plus and plus or minus and minus, we write 3 minus 4. But if they're different like this, 1 plus the other minus, we'll do 3 plus 4. That means here, nothing, no sign in the equation 4 will change, it will remain same, so here plus 4 by x minus y and minus 4 by x minus y is 0, plus 4 minus 4. Then we can write this one down, 6 by here x plus y, no in sign in front means plus, so we just put plus 9 by x plus y, we're dealing, adding these two. Then after that is followed by equal sign, we'll put that, plus 4 plus 1, so plus 4 plus 1 is plus 5. 
I think. So next here, you can take the LCM X plus Y and X plus Y the denominator. LCM is X plus Y. So X plus Y into 1 is X plus Y then 1 into 6 multiplied with numerator 6 then 1 6 are 6. Similarly, X plus Y into 1, 1 into 9, 9. So we're getting here 6 plus 9 is 15 divided by x plus y equal to 5 so you can proceed doing so that we can get a simple format so here 5 will up 5 means 5 by 1 so 5 will multiply it down here without actually multiplying and opening bracket let's we'll just keep it like that 5 into x plus y when we multiply these two then after equal sign up and down 15 ones are 15 after equal sign now we don't want to multiply yet because we can simply make it simple like this x plus y will do 15 then this 5 into will come down to denominator 5 ones are 5 and 5 threes are 15 so we have a simpler equation now x plus y equal to 3 let us put this one as equation number uh, 4 5 following 4 Let's just put this one here. Putting this value x plus y is equal to 3 in either equation, okay, either in equation 1 or 2 up to us. Maybe we can just put it in 1 then 3 by x plus y and x plus y is now 3 so I just put the 3 plus 2 by x minus y is equal to 2. Right, that's why these two cancel, so 1 is left and here 2 by x minus y will be equal to plus 1 shift to right side, this 2 is okay then plus 1 shifted to right side becomes minus 1. So 2 by x minus y is equal to 2 minus 1 is 1. And x minus y into 1 is x minus y, then up and down again 2 ones are 2, let us put this one as 6. So using 5 and 6, we can now get the values of x and y. We can do substitution or elimination, but we can just continue with the same method. Here the coefficient of x is 1, here also 1, here coefficient of y is 1, here 1, minus 1. So they are already equated, so let's just multiply by 1. 1 multiply both equation, equation number 5 and 6. 1 multiply equation 5, 1 multiply equation number 6. Then we're going to get here, same one, x plus y equal to 3, equation number 7, let us say. Then this one, 1 multiply equation 6, and the same equation will come out. This equal to 2x minus y equal to 2. Let's put this one as equation 8. Now you see here, if you take the x, then you're having a plus 1, plus 1. Same sign, so if you choose to eliminate that, you have to do 7 minus 8. Because they are same sign, but if you choose this, this is also equated, 1 and 1. So plus 1 and minus 1, opposite sign. Equated in absolute value, but opposite sign, so 7 plus 8, you can do that. Then my plus y minus y becomes 0. x plus x is 2x, and 3 plus 2 is 5. So we're going to get here, x value equal to 5 divided by... This 2 will come down. We have to find the x, y. So let us just put here, putting x is equal to 5 by 2. We go just now in either equation <coughs> 5 or 6, up to you. Maybe we can put in 6. Then you get here x. So x here is now 5 by 2. So we're at 5 by 2 minus y is equal to 2. Had you put x equal to 5 by 2 in equation 5, then also you'll get the same value for y. And same answer is wrong. It's not wrong. Okay. So here that gives you minus y, keep it alone, and 2 here. Then shift this. No sign in front means plus 5 by 2. Go right side, minus 5 by 2. So here minus y is equal to 2. 2 are 4. Right. Minus here. This 5 will remain same divided by 2. So continuing to do this, you can just go here from here to here, okay? 
that implies minus y is equal to 4 minus 5 is minus 1 divided by down here is 2 so if you cancel now this minus and minus you're going to get y is equal to 1 by 2 therefore x value if we got here 5 by 2 y value we got just now 1 by 2 and the answer choice that match this one therefore the right choice go to your question is 2 exactly matching our answer number 2 which is given as x equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to 1 by 2 first question okay and next let's go to a2 I hope you're getting right. Next, if 4x plus 6y, so just write, start writing the first equation 4x plus 6y is equal to 3xy. I just put this as a question one. Since there are no specific method mentioned, we'll just do it the way it's easier for us. Okay, then the second one is 8x plus 9y is equal to. 5xy then question is saying find the value of x and y i think choice in the choice so let's do by equating coefficient again coefficients of x okay coefficients of x if we take to find the lc coefficients of x here are 4 and 8 so the lc is 8 as you can see coefficients of x and y is in front of 5, 6 and 9. So y coefficients of 6 and 9, their LCM is uh, 3 is going with both. So 3, 2 is 6, 3, 3 is 9. Again, 2 is going, so 2, 1 is 2. It doesn't go with this, so just write it. 3 is going here, so it doesn't go with 1, so just repeat 1. So the LCM is this, 3, 2 is 6, 6, 3 is 18. So these are the two LCM and 8 is much smaller than 18 so it will be simpler to take this 4 and 8 the coefficients of x to equate and eliminate so 4 LCM is 8 so 4 2s are 8 the LCM so 2 will multiply every term of equation 1 and the next coefficient of x is here 8 so 8 1s are 8 1 will multiply every term of equation 2 then these two will become equal which is not yet equal as you can see 4 and 8 are not equal 2 fours are 8x because 8 2 is going to multiply all the terms of equation 1 as you can see 2 6 are 12y 2 threes are 6xy 1 multiply this means it remains same 8x plus 9y is equal to 5xy let's put this 3 and this one is 4 so now let's put a dash here the equated coefficients here 8 and 8 have the same sign plus so we are going to do here 3 minus 4 3 minus 4 means every term in equation 4 will change from the original sign so original here is plus 5xy will become minus 5xy plus 9y will become minus plus 8x will become minus 8x that way we can eliminate sorry minus 8x plus 8x 0 plus 12 minus 9 is 12 minus 9 is 3 plus 3 y 6 minus 5 is 1 so no need to write there x y so now we got here x don't move that 3 y then this y you move into means it will come down so you're going to get x equal to 3 we need to find y so let us just put here mm. put in x is equal to 3 in either equation 1 or 2 up to us maybe 1 because 1 is, seems to be slightly simpler then here 4 into x is now 3 replaced by 3 plus 6y because we don't know yet why we want to find that is equal to 3 into x into y so x is now 3 into y we don't know yet so just write it that way we're going to get 4 3s are 12 
plus 6y is equal to 3 threes are 9y. So just keep this 12, 9y same. Shift this one to right side, become minus 6y. What we're trying to do is bringing the y terms on one side. So that way you're going to get here 12 is equal to 9 minus 6, 9y minus 6y is plus 3y. So that way we're going to get here y, don't move that, 12. We move this 3 from right side to left and into becomes divided by 12. 3 1s are 3, 3 4s are 2. So y is going to be equal to 4 by 1 means 4. So as per our calculation, x value is equal to 3 and y value is equal to 4. And let's see which answer among the four match our answer and it's choice number four which is exactly so the answer is four which is giving x equal to three y equal to four second question also done okay so let's go to the a3 i'm doing a little bit faster because this is the last test so i think we can catch up right okay so okay, a3 Listen to the question carefully. In a cyclic quadrilateral, remember it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Let me draw a figure even though it's not so necessary. A, B, C, D. Quadrilateral means it has four sides. Cyclic means the quadrilateral, the vertices, the sharp points are exactly on the circle. And that's called a cyclic quadrilateral. A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, D maybe. A equal to, so here, okay, in a cyclic quadrilateral short form is like this box, A, B, C, D, it is given, A is given as, angle A is given as X plus Y plus 10, this much, degree because the unit of angle is degree right then comma angle b is given as y plus 20 degree and comma c angle c likewise angle c is also mentioned angle c is equal to x plus y minus 30 degree or 30 degree outside then finally, and angle D is given as X plus Y degree. So all the four angles of the cyclic quadrilateral are, in a sense, expressed in terms of X and Y and some numbers. So here, now we write like this, angle A, this one, and here B, nearby, so they are called adjacent angles. But if you take C angle, they are called Opposite angles, okay. So angle A plus angle C, sum of the opposite angle, always equal to 180 degree because we know the theorem sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral always equal to 180 degree. That's why the two opposite angles A plus B, C, 180, B plus D, likewise. 180. So you can write your A, you can replace it by x plus y plus 10 degree. You can avoid writing degree if you want. Plus C here, x plus y minus 30. A plus C replaced 180 degree. So we can do now x plus x is 2x plus y plus y is 2y. Then 10 minus 30 is minus 20 is equal to 180. So this degree will be, you can just remove it if you want from the step two because degree on the left side and right side will cancel, right? So next year, I mean here degree is there. So once you put degree here, say degree, 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 here degree, degree, cancelled. So this one here, 2x plus 2y, therefore equal to 180 degrees going now. Plus minus 20 go right side, plus 20. Bringing the xy terms on left side and numbers on the right side. Then you're going to get here. Okay. 
once you're through with that, then 2x2y means 2 is common factor, 2 into x plus y. See here, 2 has gone outside common factor. 180 plus 20 is 200. So x plus y is going to be 200 divided by this 2 will come down. 1's up to 2, 1's up 100. So x plus y is equal to 100. Let us put this as equation 1. Similarly, just as we did here, opposite angle, a plus c 180, so b plus d, angle b plus angle d, opposite, another second pair, also 180 degree because of the same reason that the sum of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. So let's replace the values for b and d as given in a question in terms of y and x here, b, y plus 20, then d here, x plus y. So this degree and this degree will cancel off with this degree. So we need not write the degree in the next step. Then here x, x, y plus y plus 2y equal to 180 then plus 20 shift to right side minus 20. x here, y plus y here, 20 shifted to right side. So x plus 2y is equal to 180 minus 20 is 160, yes, the degree is gone. Let us put this as equation 2. I can solve by any method, <coughs> elimination or by equating coefficient also. Okay, we can go by equating coefficient, x and x already equated. So let us take this 1 and 1. So if they are already equated, we multiply both the equation by 1 itself because they are already equated. So there is no need for any change there. So if we do by 1, Gonna get your same one x plus y equal to 100. Equation 3, let us say, and 1 multiplied is equation 2, then same will get x plus 2y 160. So here the equated coefficients here are plus 1 and plus 1 in the same sign, so same sign is 3 minus 4. So we do here equation 3 minus equation 4, which implies that. Every term in equation 4 will change from the original sign. Plus 160 will become minus 160. Plus 2y will become minus 2y. Plus x will become minus x. That way minus 1x plus 1x becomes 0. Minus 2y plus 1y is minus y. 1y. Minus 160 bigger absolute value. Put it up. Smaller one is no sign. Plus 100. So subtract 0, 6. 160 minus 160, upper sign is minus, which is also minus, so minus 60. So minus and minus cancel means we're getting y equal to 60. I hope it's getting it. Then we have to find b, angle b. The question is saying in the beginning, you find angle b, question mark. So we can now easily find b because see here, b is y plus 20. We don't need to find x. So let's just go and do. Therefore, angle B is equal to y plus 20, this much degree. Y just now we got you 60, so plus this one 20, so 80 degree, 60 plus 20. The right choice is the one, answer is matching ours is one. So the answer is one, which mentions as 80 degree. I hope you're getting it right. One more question before we complete. Let's go there. We read it. So first the question given A4. X minus Y equal to 2. Let us put this one as equation 1. Second one is we need rearrangement, I think. 2 by X plus Y. 1 by 5. Let's just change this to a proper linear equation. So it makes it easier for us to solve. X plus Y into 1 is x plus y. We are cross multiplying, okay, up and down. 2 fives are after equal sign. Then, so let's put this as question 2. Plus 1, plus 1, minus 1, minus, plus 1. So, both the coefficient of y and x also equated. So, let's go by elimination again, 1 into 1. And 1 multiply equation 2 because the coefficient that, okay, let us choose this, are all, once we have chosen, are already equal. See, minus 1, plus 1. So there are opposite sign, the absolute value is same 1 and 1. 
means they are already equated. So if we multiply 1 to this equation 1, same thing x minus y is equal to 2. Put this one as 3. Then if we x minus y is equal to 3, multiply 1 to equation 2, you're going to get x plus y is equal to 10, equation 4. Then we have chosen this, so here you could have chosen even this plus 1x plus 1x, they are equated. But we have just chosen this. Both the equated coefficients of y here are minus and plus minus 1 and plus 1. Opposite sign means 3 plus 4. So minus 1y plus 1y is 0. 1x plus 1x, 2x. 10 plus 3, 13. So x is equal to 13 divided by 2. Okay, so. Uh, wait, okay, x minus y equal to 2. Then 2 by x plus y is equal to 1 by 5. So x plus y is equal to <coughs> x plus y is equal to 10. Yeah. So this one 10. X minus y. Oh, oh, x minus y is equal to 2, not 3. Sorry. Change this slight correction. So 2 plus 10 is not 13, but 12. So 12 and here 12. Then if you shift this 2 into, it will come down to the denominator. 2, 6 or 12. So x is 6. We have to find the y. So putting this value of x equal to 6, either in equation 1 or 2, up to us. Choose the simpler one. Maybe this is simpler. 1. So let's put in 1. Then we're going to get here x. x is now 6 minus your y. Right. So put y is equal to so that gives you minus y is equal to 2. If you shift this no sign in front of 6 means plus 6, go right side, become minus 6. As you continue doing this, last few steps, it gives you minus y is equal to 2 minus 6 is minus 4. As you can see here, minus 6 plus 2 is subtraction and bigger sign minus. Minus minus cancel, so y is equal to 4. As per our answer, therefore, x is equal to 6, y is equal to 4. Now let us go and see which answer choice match our answer of x equal to 6, y equal to 4. And that is choice number 3. So our answer choice, the correct one is x is equal to 6, y is equal to 4. I think that's done. That completes the part for this test 3.6D, okay? Okay.